father of scuba diving, pioneer of his time, Cousteau discovered what he called the silent world. We discover an environment overcome by color. In a silent world ruled by visual display, color forms a cryptic language we haven't yet understood. Vibrant in dazzling colors and pattern, tropical fish seem to advertise their presence. Surely this isn't the best way to evade predation. What you need to remember is the background against which the fish appears. Um, this is critical to its survival. If you place a boldly striped animal in a boldly striped background, it tends to disappear. Uh, and this is called the principle of disruption, or disruptive camouflage. The fish's favourite colours seem to be blue and yellow. Seen through their eyes, yellows blend into the coral reef background, and blues obviously blend well with water. So it stands to reason that yellow fish stick to the coral bed, while blue fish are more comfortable high above the reef or in open water. But then, there are fish with both colours. When we look at the reef, we're faced with a paradox. How can fish be hidden from their predator, yet simultaneously obvious to a mate? On closer inspection, many fish display elaborate patterns made of complementary colours. Close up, complementary colours appear vibrantly contrasted, yet at a distance, they blend and become inconspicuous to a cruising predator. This is the secret tool used by fish to whisper and shout at the same time. Many of the fish that you see out there contain little spots of colour. They're just like a pointillist painter's canvas. And this means that as the fish is seen close to, the spots of colour stand out very conspicuously. They're very bright. So fish talking to each other next door will see these spots and stripes. However, as the fish moves off into the distance, the spots and stripes combine to give a different colour and the fish becomes an exact match to its background. Marine animals know their colour scheme and the visual system of others. Whether friend, mate or rival, they analyse their world and change position, choosing whether to be flashy or disguised, depending on what they want to say. Fish talk with colour all the time. If you think about a reef situation which is a, a thronging mass of many different coloured fish, they're literally shouting at each other all sorts of different messages all the time. Colour is an integral part of social behaviour, used in clever and complex strategies to pass messages. This is a language of colour, which for the first time ever, we're starting to grasp. Marine animals live together in society, communicating through touch and colour display, and forming alliances to feed, reproduce and defend themselves. To evade predation, some blend with their background. Others try to get noticed. Wearing vibrantly contrasting, highly visible colours, the black saddle Toby shouts his presence. He's highly poisonous and he's immediately noticed. Predators identify him and leave him alone. During the day without a care in the world, his safety is assured by his loud colour warning. The cleaner Ras also shouts his presence. He's not poisonous, but he's advertising cleaning services. He's an obvious prey, but even the most ferocious predator's desire to feed is surpassed by the benefits of a good clean. His loud colour display also guarantees safety. In the language of colour, some fish learn to lie. The little toby is joined by another, but this isn't a toby, it's
it's a mimic filefish. He's masquerading as a toby, pretending he's poisonous. A lie ensuring his safety. Feeding in the open without fear of predation, his cover's so good that even the toby gets fooled. Another liar is the mimic Fangleni. He impersonates the cleaner Rass, taking on his colours and imitating his swimming behaviour so he can approach trusting fish. Pretending to clean them, he snaps a piece of flesh with sharp fangs, then quickly retreats in a burrow to savour the delicacy. And beyond our visual range, marine animals even talk in colours we can't see. Fish may need to see colours that we can't see in order to communicate. They can literally talk to each other using a language that we have no access to. On the reef, there is a lot of ultraviolet light, and it turns out that perhaps half of the reef fish are taking advantage of this and using ultraviolet and ultraviolet reflection as a secret communication channel that the bigger fish can't see. Using an incredible palette of colour to hide or be seen, attract a mate, warn friends, display anger or fear, or mimic a different species. Fish have mastered the art of talking in colour. Reef fish are talking with colour. They're talking to each other in a language that we don't understand, but one for them which is very important. To save this world, we should first learn to listen. And remember, it's a silent world, only if we keep our eyes shut. <laughs>